you're going to notice that we could have the three and a half year old in class all the way up to mom and dad, grandma and grandpa. And the way we're able to work with everybody is we teach them degrees of isolation. So you may see us focus just on one movement for the student to be able to understand before moving on to the next. It could be that all we're focusing on is just the inward block with the front arm and the eye focus, and that's it. Um, and we're not focusing on the legs because we're trying to eventually piece everything together. Um, eventually, though, we want the student to be able to be able to put their entire body behind one single movement. It could be that we want the student to be able to step back and they have to turn their feet into the proper stance. They have to bend their knees, they have to keep their back straight, they gotta look to the front, they got a key eye, they gotta perform the actual movement. So that's like, you know, five, six different things going on, on all at the same time. It is crucial that instructors know the different levels on which a student can develop. And when you are familiar with different levels in which a student can develop, then you're going to be able to teach the student at the gradient level that is much more suitable for the student. So the way we're going to be teaching a four-year-old or a three-and-a-half-year-old is going to be a lot different than the way we teach a 10-year-old, 15-year-old, 20-year-old, etc.